pinpointing a definition for beef sustainability may be more important than you think. Here's more. One big topic in the cattle business right now is the word sustainable and sustainable beef. And uh, we're going to get some answers here. Many of those who are customers of our products are looking back down the chain and saying, what are you doing about sustainability? So that throws the ball into our our ballpark. If we go back in history, farmers and ranchers in the United States have been sustainable for a very, very long time. Mm -hmm. We call it efficiency and we call it being able to be proficient enough at your business to make a profit, to have enough money to pay your bills and to stay in business. And in fact, American agriculture, farmers and ranchers, are the greatest testimony to sustainability that we've ever had. In the high 90% range, all the farms and ranches in this country are owned by family uh, operations. And they're passed from generation to generation. And if we were not efficient, if we were not profitable, if we were not sustainable, mm -hmm. we wouldn't be here today. So right now the deal is, it's almost like certain groups, certain people are trying to turn the words around and twist them around here a little bit. McDonald's, for instance, they are starting this kick on, on wanting only sustainable beef and they're telling consumers your beef's going to be sustainable. But it's kind of just subject to definition. There really isn't a defining sustainability on the consumer end. Uh, you're, you're absolutely right. Uh, sustainability as it's being thrown around uh, in society, that sustain, sustainability, if you ask 10 different individuals, would be defined in 10 different ways. And I would dare say that even McDonald's do not know completely what they mean by defining sustainability. Starting about 2011, Kim Stackhouse Lawson has become the director of sustainability for the National Cattlemen's Beef Association. And she, along with a committee of very dedicated people, have taken data from the U.S. Meat Animal Research Center at Clay Center, Nebraska, as well as stakeholders from the industry, packers, processors, retailers, food service. What that showed is in the last six years, in this life cycle assessment, that the beef cattle industry has improved its environmental and social imprint by 7% just in the last six years. That's a lot, really. That's huge. It's due to more efficient use of water. Uh, it's due to energy uses. For instance, the study showed as a sidebar that 60% of the energy used in packing industry today across this land is the result of recycling of biogas within, within that industry. So that's a very, very big deal. Uh, in addition to that 7%, there's less greenhouse gas emissions, there's less use of energy. So it's become important for our industry to define sustainability within that life cycle assessment and not have someone else define that for us. Mm -hmm. And we're doing that with third party verification. So we, be we have become now not the individual who's blamed for these excess use of resources or for negative environmental impacts. But in fact, we have the information and the data that shows that we as an industry are doing something about it. And it's not that one size fits all when it comes to um, this thing called sustainability. In fact, the one size fits all, fits all approach is probably the least sustainable thing we could do as an industry. It's nearly time to plant and Ken's in next with your grow weather including the soil temperatures.